Hey guys, this is Britt with Diverse Suspension Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to measure your tie rod in or ball joint in in order to replace those dust boots on your vehicle. Many of you out there are finding out that the rubber boot on your ball joint or tie rod has either rotten away or split. These boots are extremely important for the suspension of your vehicle. Fortunately, Prothane makes universal dust boots that will fit most vehicles. These dust boots are made of a polyurethane and are far more durable than that stock rubber. These will seal your boot to retain the grease in the joint, as well as protect the joint from dirt, sand, water, and snow. Now, in order to select the proper boot, you will first need to grab a few measurements. The best way to do this is with a set of digital calibers. You will need to measure the diameter of the base where the boot will sit, the diameter of the shaft, also called the pin opening, and the height of the boot. Now, I have here a tie rod end and a ball joint that we're going to measure today. Once you have gotten the measurements for the tie rod end, Make sure you're very specific and you write down the exact measurements. Now, the first, the first thing that we're going to measure today is the base of this tie rod. This one comes out to about 1.4 inches. The next measurement is that pin opening that we talked about. This one comes to about 0.6 and the last measurement is the height. This is around 1 inch. Now that you have these measurements, you can go to our website, ProtheinSuspensionParts.com, click Universals, and then find the Universal Dust Boot page. On this page, you'll have a chart of all the boots and the measurements with the corresponding part numbers. For this tie rod in, we're going to use part number 19, 17, 12. This boot has a 0.59 inch pin opening, which is slightly smaller than our measurement. In order to make sure that this is a snug fit, you'll always want to choose a boot that's just slightly smaller than the measurement of the, the pinhole. If you choose a bushing that is exactly the same size or one that's a little bit bigger, you can actually cause a gap, and this will let the grease out and the dust in. This boot also has a base diameter of 1.3 and a height of 0.965. Now again, you want to make sure you're just slightly smaller with your measurements. Now, with the ball joint, you want to do the same type of measurements. The first measurement that we're going to get is that base. On this one, you're going to measure right here where the boot will lie. It's about 1.6. The next one is that pin opening again. This one's about 0.7. And the last one again is that height. This is around one inch. Now even though there is an option for a boot that is 0.75 opening, we wouldn't want to go with this boot. As you can see, there's a slight gap here and this will allow that grease to come out and dirt to come in, which we call premature failure of this ball joint. So for this ball joint, we would like to go with part number 191714, which has an opening of about 0.65 and a base of 1.6 and around a 9 uh, 0.965 inch height. Now, this one's a little tougher to go in, but the elasticity, the elasticity of the polyurethane will allow the hole to stretch and grip this joint tightly. And that's all you need to know to measure those tie rod ends to get those correct bushings. You can check us out at ProtheinSuspensionParts.com for all that we carry for your vehicle. If you have any other questions, you can send us an email or give us a call at 1-888-406-2330. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on the latest videos and tech support. If you have a comment, please leave it below. And once again, I am Britt with Diverse Suspension Technologies. Thanks for watching.